Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Ideal Investor Show. And uh, today I wanted to answer a question that somebody left uh, as a comment on our one of our um, shows where I was talking about having a passive income portfolio specifically with residential real estate as we are focusing on that. And as I've always said, we are basically suggesting to do that using turnkey providers. And the question that the person was asking was, well, if it should be really passive, why not use a syndication that focuses on real estate development or use a real estate investing trust that focuses basically on like either residential or multifamily development? And I want to give the answer on that. For one, first, I want to thank and encourage anybody who is listening to this episode to do the same, to go to the show, don't download episodes that you really like, give the show a rating and a review. And then if you see anything or if you think about anything that you find, uh, you know, you want me to expand on or you want us to get a guest for or anything like that, then please put it in the comments or you can also go to idealinvestorshow.com and you can contact us there. There's a contact form there. Or if you rather like to talk about something and have kind of like a one-on-one -on -one conversation, you can just book a call and we can talk about it. And then we can also ask and answer any other questions or see if you'd like to do more than just get answers to the questions. So let's get back to this question about why not invest in real estate investing trust or in syndications if the goal is to keep the investment passive if the goal is not to have to spend a lot of time after money has been invested why am i recommending to go with turnkey providers and own the properties outright and i have oftentimes spoken about the fact that when you own the property, meaning like you actually own the deed, your name or your company's name is in the deed of the property, you obviously have more control. And that is one of the desirable things that we want for our investments. But then the other aspect is what's called leverage. And that's the last letter in our ideal for ideal wealth grower. And the one thing that you cannot do in pretty much all investments And there are some few exceptions, but for the most part, if you do stock investing, if you do real estate investing, trust investing, if you do uh, syndication investing, the point is always that there is a certain amount of money that is asked of you. And that is then also the value of the investment. So what do I mean by that? A lot of real estate syndications, for example, have a minimum investing amount of $50,000. If you say, okay, I have $50,000, I want it to be really passive, I invest into this trust, and they manage everything and so forth, and they just give you updates about the performance on a regular basis, similar to a stock investment, then you will own $50,000 worth of that trust. Now, the same thing is in a sense, correct with a syndication you participating in a project that the syndicator is operating and not only do you have less control but you are part of how much do you actually own how much value of investment are you actually getting is exactly the amount that you invested into the syndication so again fifty thousand dollars invested in a syndication means you have a fifty thousand dollar stake How is that different to direct investing using a turnkey provider? Well, like I said, leverage is the big thing. If you buy, let's say, a duplex, a triplex, a fourplex, right, and you have $50,000, now you couldn't buy the property outright, but with $50,000, and typically meaning it's a 25% down payment, um, you can have a $200,000 duplex for example or triplex and you own the deed you own the property that's worth two hundred thousand dollars but you only needed to put fifty thousand dollars in and that's basically the difference because ultimately what happens if in your real estate investing trust or in your syndication the value of the investment increases by ten percent 
Let's just say that were to happen. Then your $50,000 is has gained $5,000 for a REIT, meaning the trust, or for a syndication. Well, if you bought that duplex or triplex and it increased by 10% in value and it was originally $200,000, now this property is worth $220,000. So your $50,000 investment now increased by $20,000. That's the big difference when everything else being equal. So the leverage means not only can you buy more asset, but when the asset appreciates, you get 100% of the appreciation, even though you only pay 25% of the price. Or if you were to buy a single family property, you would even get away with 20%. That's the big difference. And that's why I'm saying, okay, if I have the choice between controlling $50,000 by investing $50,000 or controlling $200,000 by investing $50,000, then I rather want the second option where I control more money with the same amount of investment. So I hope this was helpful and educational and answers the question. And I'm really, really grateful because I would love to have more episodes where I can just dive a little deeper and answer a question of one of you guys so that we can all learn together and, and grow together and ultimately succeed together. So with that being said, be well and stay safe. And I talk to you tomorrow.